I screwed up there. Oh, I had my first pizzeria in 19 in Bricktown for two and a half years, but I realized I was too young, so I got out of that. And then, uh, what else? I was going to go in the army, but I didn't. I was going to do the music like you, but I didn't. But, eh, we all go down the wrong path. You know, the two paths we can go down. And uh, that's about it, man. This is the path you stayed on, though. Yeah, this is the path I stayed on, yeah. I'd rather have been on the other one with Mick Jagger and Doors and Stones and Zeppelin and, you know, all the good people. But yeah, it's all right. It turned out all right. We can't go back now, but it's never too late. Music is never too late, right? Never too late for music. What do you got? Cheese steak? Cheese steak for Robert? Oh, it's nice. Nice, right? Like you can finish it up. Yeah, I gotta get some high top tables, some boots. Take care, Robert. Thank you. No, I think Big Z. Yeah, Big Z. That's the Italian version of macaroni and cheese, baked ziti. Do you remember when we, were, when we had a Santa Claus delivered down there? You remember that, huh? <laughs> that was one of the best things I ever did. Man. That was good. Ready, Jake, or you missing something? Good? Yeah. Boy, can you make this white gallo? Garlic, ricotta, mozzarella? Got it? Thank you, gallo. All right. He's highly independent. Stuff, you know that. I don't feel around. I got it, Lily. Hey, I'll be right back. Yeah, 17 packs. Naples. Yeah, what do you mean, honey? Dinner or stuff? Okay. Oh, Alright, Jay, gonna see about 15. Alright, thank you, man. Holy eggplant palm dinner for Megan. 
I'm like the old school ravioli, spaghetti, meatball. She wants to go beyond. She wants to do the fish and she wants to do the shrimp. And you know, it's, you always gotta remember, it's just a pizza party. You know what I mean? It's always a pizzeria. It'll always be a pizzeria. What do you got, Alex? Well done. Holy smoky. Chicken and the egg. Now it's everything. Chicken palm, eggs, buffalo chicken pizza, cheesesteak pizza, margarita pizza, every kind of damn pizza you think of. I met her when I went on vacation in Italy. Because I was with her, uh, her brother in law. And uh, I met her in Italy. And then the sister was having a baby here, so she came over and stayed with her sister and never went back. So we got married here. And, and uh, that's it. No one's worrying about something stupid. Or they're worried about the kitchen. They're worrying about this side. And who's driving? Who ain't showing up? The girl's not showing up. What are we having? Hopes, pizza, slice, coffee, tea. They gave it tea, and I think he wants a pizza. Yeah. You got eggplant? You want? What are you having, Mobis? I got eggplant. 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 Where he's coming from? Where he's going? You're not going to believe this. The two brothers from Stone Temple Pilot, they live over here in Spring Lake. So the one kid come in, uh, Daryl, I think his name is. And the exact words what you said is exactly what he said to you. He said, Mike, this is your music. Because we hit it off so well, we are talking about so much music. And he goes, how do you have all this knowledge? I said, because it's natural. It's just a natural thing that happened to me. I mean, it's what happened. But I didn't put it to work. And he goes, well, you did a good job here. This is your music. This is your theater. This is your stage. This is all of it. You make a go out of it. You're doing great. You've been here. And do what you got to do. Really a nice guy, and you know, he made me feel good. Hey, you. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Yeah. Where'd y'all, when's school start? Are you not in? Oh, I just came back. Oh. How was it? It was awesome. It was so good. All my drivers, all good kids, man. What? They never leave. There's like a five year waiting list here to work for drivers. They never, these kids, man, never leave. Never, ever, ever. What do you do at home? Just come and straighten this kid out? Straighten him out, get some food. Yeah. Are you going to deliver? Nah, I'm going home. She's like, she had a rough day at work. So that's never thing. leave. Nine years. Never leave. They, these guys never leave, man. They're like furniture. They're like the oven. It don't move. It takes you enough time just to work, work it in. Like, yeah. hey, you can't get rid of me now. 
I have the girl works here for me. Well, she don't work no more. She just graduated this year. The, the spelling bee, the national spelling bee. Her name was uh, Carrie Close, and uh, she uh, she graduated now from uh, what school was she at again, Lulu? She didn't graduate yet. She's at Cornell. Cornell, yeah. Oh. She was so shy when she first started here, but I tear her apart, man. She broke down. We were just talking about, uh, when, when you said to me, the days walk her, the days crawl by, and he walk her, fly by. Oh, no, he knew my name. Matt. He got it. Matt, oh, yeah, Mark, it's Matt. Mark, Matt. It took him like five years, but he got it. Now we call him Mobus. The man with the plan. He still calls you Matt? You stay behind this counter on this side and you talk to the, you hear every story. My nephew got cancer and this one went blind and I lost my child. And it's crazy. You're like a, you're like a real priest, man. They're giving you their confession over here. It's crazy, man. You know, if they like you, they talk to you and then that's it, man. They come back, they eat the food, they're happy, and they come back with another story. And that's it. Yeah, I mean, I've heard some stories. You feel sorry for some of the people. It's like, like Doran Sandy, we worked. We didn't had we the ovens worked. It was gas, and uh, people would come in here, have no money. They had only a credit card, but we couldn't run the machine because there was no electric. So me and Lena would say, just come back tomorrow or next week or next month when you have the money or another time, or just. Whatever, you need money, write out a check, we'll give you $10, we'll give you, you know, we were doing anything and everything for the people we could. We opened like three or four days, and I was running around everywhere trying to find food or whatever, trying to do this. My brother-in-law had power, so we made the dough there in brick. Me and Lena would rush it over here in the morning. We'd open by 12, it'd be ready by noon. Six o'clock, we were done. And you made like two days worth of business in five hours. It's crazy. I never seen anything like it. And uh, what happened was somebody passed outside, and on the radio station, the rat. Somebody said, "Hey, Naples is open." Naples. So they put it on the radio station. All of a sudden, man, that friggin' place! I swear to God, Stuart went berserk. I had the people out the doors, man. They, you know, they just crazy. And then. They had a curfew, you had to leave by, I guess, 7 o'clock or 6 o'clock when it got dark, and it was crazy. They had, like, all these candles in here and flashlights, and we always had the gas, so we were able to make pizza, which was good. And Lena put on, like, this little bottle, uh, this little pot of sauce, because we could cook it, and we had to deep fry it because it was gas, so we were making chicken palm subs, the sauce, throw them in the oven, and that was it. Everybody was happy. They had regular red pie, the white pie, and the chicken palm subs. I've never seen anything like it. And another good thing about Sandy, we got lucky home. We never lost our power. We lost it for an hour. People, two weeks, three weeks, lost their houses, lost everything. I lost one panel on my fence home. Thank God. That was it. We got lucky stories, man. We really, really lucked out. I enjoy the pizzeria. I, I guess I would do it again. I wouldn't do it different though. I wouldn't have did it like the old-fashioned way. I would have did it more like Marcello's level now, you know, where it's, it's different. I mean, I make the same dough now as I made since 1973. Nothing changes. Nothing. Something different in life. Something different. Will he come for that pie, Lulu? Oh, yeah? Good.